Oh, I almost didn't make it, guys, but here we are, downtown Providence, live for the kickoff of the Roadshow's summer staycation. I know what you're thinking. Brendan's ready for his calendar shoot. Perhaps that's why I'm showing so much chest. But enough about that. We have so much happening down here this morning. We're going to chat, believe it or not, with some live guests. We're going to get the scoop on all of the great things that are still taking place in downtown Providence because I know what you're thinking. Oh, God, what are we going to do for the summer? Well, trust your friends here at the Roadshow. Will, Michaela, sorry for the miscommunication earlier. It's all right. I hope you're holding it down in studio. We're going to have some fun here. Let's do it, guys. Yeah, let's do it and let's do it for an entire hour. That's right. First hour long show since March. It's going to happen every Friday morning. We'll have a summer staycation show highlighting great spots to visit around the state. That's right. So we're going to do from local beaches, charming towns from the city to the sea. We'll take you along on a trip around Rhode Island, which is look. I mean, we're all so happy to, to yeah. be able to do this and, uh, you know, have everybody be part of it. A lot of folks uh, at home still mm -hmm. watching. So we're, we're glad to do, we're glad to have you, you know, hanging yeah. out with us for, for an hour today. For the which full is good. hour. We got hour. a new logo and it's, everything. It's, great. it's a it's a big day for us. And I can't believe we're saying, we're saying that first hour long show since, since March. March. It's been four months. And, and you think about everything that's going on since then and you know still going on yeah. too. So we'll try to bring a little smile to your face for the full hour today. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Buckle up. Mm -hmm. Here we go. So let's not waste any more time. We want to head out to Providence to check in with Brendan. That's right. He is ready to fill us in on all of the summer staycation activities. The city has to offer. Brendan, you're up. Still basking in the summertime glow of the sunshine, you guys. We're having some fun here in downtown Providence, as we told you earlier. Yes, don't worry, Will. I won't ask you to come down here to apply sunblock to my back or anything like that. But a couple of weeks ago, we came down here ahead of today's live roadshow appearance to kind of get the scoop on all of the great things that are happening in Providence this summer. Here's what we found. It's no secret that Providence, Rhode Island, the creative capital, has it all. From recreational activities to fine dining and so much more, we got the scoop. There's plenty to do. We've got some great outdoor activities. Providence kayak is back, the gondolas are back, the riverboat is back. So there's all sorts of fun stuff like that to do. And there's still events to look forward to. And you know, restaurants are open, shops are open. So there's still plenty to do. And with so much packed into the city of Providence, you can experience its rich history firsthand without even needing to drive. We have a whole bunch of historic walking tours. We have an African-American history walking tour, which is really timely right now. We've got tours of Benefit Street of downtown Providence. But I'm a walker and you can walk from downtown to Federal Hill or Thayer Street it's pretty easy. Creativity truly shines in Providence. We feel like Providence is sort of an outdoor art gallery. Wherever you go, there's murals and sculptures and even some of the trash cans and the bike racks are sculptures. So, you know, we're the creative capital. We take it seriously. So I would just have people walk around. You can find some really cool Instagram spots. Something else to look forward to? Another favorite, Providence Restaurant Week will return. We're gonna do it bigger and better and a little bit later in the summer. So there'll be details coming on that, but if you loved Restaurant Weeks, this is gonna add even more to it. So it's gonna be a lot of fun and it'll be longer. From the zoo to the children's museum to Waterfire, one of the city's most well-known attractions, there's lots for the entire family to enjoy. Though some of these may be temporarily operating under restrictions, you can easily find out more online. So if people want to learn more about Providence, whether you're a local or you're visiting, go to our website, goprovidence.com. We've got all sorts of fun things to do this summer. So many activities, so little time. We told you they have everything. All that's missing is you. You know, because I'm already here. Thanks, Brendan. Boy, I could watch him for hours, but we're having a blast here. Of course, that is kind of what you can look forward to later on this summer. And of course, both guests from that fantastic video piece joining you right here, Kristen Adamo. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming to Providence. It's great to see you. It was fun to get down here a couple of weeks ago. Now we're here live this morning. Just, I mean, remind us all, I mean, why Providence? Why it's so important that people come on out and come down? Well, I think there's a couple reasons. One, we're bored out of our minds. <laughs> we need to get out of our houses. And for most people, 
Providence is a quick trip and there's still plenty to do. You can explore beautiful parks like this. We're going to meet our gondoliers. There's walking tours. And most importantly, we've got a lot of restaurants that need the support. Yeah. Um, you know, downtown, there's not a lot of office workers or university students and tourists here right now. So we need to go support. And if you can stay in a hotel, even better. Yeah. Live like a tourist. I, I like the sound of that because this place, it's all happening down here. You know, people think, oh, no, I can't, you know, but now we need people to come out. We need them to support. And you alluded in the piece that we just aired. Providence Restaurant, is it one week? Is it multiple weeks? So what do we need to know? I'll give you the scoop. We're going to do a different version of Providence Restaurant Weeks. It'll start in mid-August, and it's going to run for an entire month. Love it. Um, we're working with the cities of Providence, Warwick, and Cranston. So it's going to be bigger, better, more restaurants, and a lot more options. And there'll be more coming on that. And lots of uh, people think, you know, well, we want them to come down and spend some money, of course. But also, there are some free activities as well, right? Absolutely. We have a lot of historic walking tours. We have an African-American history walking tour that's been really popular, especially um, in the past uh, couple of months. Uh, Providence is one big art gallery. There's sculptures, there's murals, there's all sorts of fun stuff to do. Um, you can bring your kayak, you can go for a run. So there's plenty of free stuff uh, to do here as well. Yeah, and just uh, the enthusiasm and the pride that people have for the creative capital. I mean, it really is just unrelenting. People are so pr proud. They have great passion for Providence, don't they? I think so. And what I would love is for people to do some what we call staycations. Love it. You know, you just want to get away from your kids. Like you've been <laughs> stuck in your house with your kids for months. Get someone to babysit, go to places like the Renaissance, check in, have a nice dinner, you walk bet. around. We can't thank you enough, Kristen. Sure. Thank you for being the great champion of Providence you are. What do you think of this distance? Oh, is it is it far <laughs> enough for you, Brendan? Do you want to go down there? I thought you wanted me on the other side of the river. <laughs> you brought the sun with you. Oh, well, I do what I can. I know. Kristen Adamo, you guys. Downtown Providence is where it's all happening. We're going to have more guests as the morning rolls on. I hope she doesn't push me into the water. For now, back to you. And some great advice from Megan there. But uh, now here's someone with even more advice, a little closer to home. Brendan, what do you have for us? <laughs> I wouldn't heed any of my advice, Michaela. You already know that, but that's just for everyone watching. But someone's advice we will want to listen to is our next guest. Joining us is the Director of Sales and Marketing from the Renaissance Hotel. Aaron Messina is here. Good morning, sir. Great. Thanks so much for having me. Uh, it's our pleasure to have you here. Do you do you feel like you're on an American Idol audition right now? A little bit, yes. I'm ready to sing. <laughs> you said that earlier. We were joking around. Um, this is just wonderful, the fact that you guys are open, you're operating. But for a lot of people out there, they may not realize you've been open the entire time time and taking precautions, correct? Yeah, that's correct. So yeah, so the Renaissance is uh, uh, never closed. We're a 272 room hotel right across from the State House uh, in the Marriott family and we've been open this whole time. Yeah, it's it's a wonderful full spot, a wonderful location, you know, steeped in history. It's um, it, it's also, you know, eloquent, it's comfortable, it's everything you'd really want in a place to stay. And something we want to talk about is the Renaissance brand Traveler. What is this element c composed of? Sure, yeah. So as most brands do, you know, Renaissance is dug into what their travelers like to do. And the Renaissance Traveler likes to come in and explore a city or a place like a local. And uh, Providence really lends itself to that. There's all sorts of cool neighborhoods, walkable city, and just looking to discover something new, really. Yeah. Are you expecting a delivery of some sort? Because I, I think not, it's arrived. No. <laughs> <laughs> but that's live just, t time. just live TV to uh, folks is what we love. Let's talk about the Marriott commitment to clean because a lot of people very nervous have some trepidation rightfully so about being out about being places. You guys have a cover though, don't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, hotels innovate all the time and this is a time to do that. So Renaissance is a luxury brand of the Marriott family. Marriott came out with the commitment to clean. And it's not just a cleaning schedule of the detailed things, but it's through and through recognizing that folks might be nervous. You know, you're, you're, you, you have a subjective comfort level. Sure. And so there's training, there's cleanliness, there's everything that goes into it to make sure that no matter who you are, you can come and arrive and, and, and feel comfortable and have a great time. You bet. I mean, and we can't stress enough how much we want everyone to come out and, you know, have that Rhode Island staycation. Come to downtown Providence, enjoy, maybe do a walking tour like Kristen said, take some pictures, Instagram it up, do all sure. that great stuff. And you're going to need a hub. You're going to need a place to stay for someone who's never been to the Renaissance Hotel. I mean, really, what can they expect? It's a wonderful experience overall. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, so we're, like I said, we're, we're down 
downtown, but we're across from the state house. Um, you walk down the hill right into the Water Place Park where we're standing right now, and from there it's unlimitless. You know, you can head up to the east side, you can walk down city, you can head towards Atwells Avenue, um, and there's just so much to do around here, and it's it's just you know there's so much to explore. How long have you been working there now? I've been there for about three and a half years now. Tremendous, and yeah. I, I I would presume there's a real sense of team. Everyone's proud of of the place. They're proud to work in Providence, and it's a, a real effort together, isn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah. The hotel opened in 2007, and I had worked there for three years back then, and most folks who live in Rhode Island know that before that, it was an empty shell of a, bid, a building sitting across from the State House full of graffiti and all sorts of cool stuff. Right. Uh, so, it, it, yeah, it has a place in my heart for sure. Ab absolutely, and we hope that everyone comes down and checks it out. Now, I'm hoping that I've done a good enough job of buttering you up, so to yeah. speak, because what are the odds of you naming a room after me? Sure, absolutely, anytime. <laughs> we already got it. I'm well ahead of you. <laughs> Just maybe some sort of plaque on the door. Sure. Um, Aaron, old joking aside, thank you so much. Best of luck moving forward. Great. It's a pleasure to have you thank with you us. Thanks so much for having me today. If you guys would like more information, of course, on the Renaissance Hotel or to maybe someday check out the Brendan Kirby Suite, don't hold your breath, you know what to do. Just head on over to roadshow.com. <laughs> Well, Brendan is in Providence this morning for our summer staycation episode. Thanks for sticking with us throughout this entire hour. Yes, it's our first show, an hour long since March. It's been such a long time. Right now, we got to go uh, back out to Brendan Kirby. Like we said, he's been in Providence and having a ton of fun. And wow, you look nice and relaxed at this moment. Thank you, Michaela. It's been a while since we worked a full hour, so I'm pretty much exhausted right now. But I am here at La Gondola, of course, uh, in downtown Providence. Our buddy Marcello is right here. We will be chatting with him in just a moment about what they have going on this year. But as I look at my, my pal Marcello over here, I can't help but think that he and I once did a segment together on one of these very gondolas. Oh, I remember it like it was three years ago. Step number one when planning a romantic evening, you gotta have a sweet ride. Check mark. And of course, step number two, a gondola ride. Hey Marcello, how are you? Great to meet you. Are we ready to do this? Absolutely. No, the lady needs a hand. Yeah, yeah here we go. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Are there seat belts on board? Oh, no need. For a delicate flower like myself. Nothing screams romance more than a guy alone on a gondola. We need you, Ivano! I thought he I thought he was gonna leave us. It's a little practical joke they like to play. It's a beautiful day, beautiful early evening. It's awesome. I've been down here for 19 seasons and to see the river from this perspective, the city, you know, especially that magic time, you know, 45 minutes before to 45 minutes after sunset, any time in that hour and a half, if you're out on a date night, there's no better way to cap it off. Marcello, I have a very important question uh, for you. Sure. May I try in your hat? I think I fit right in here on the Providence River working with you guys. You look what do you think? Anyway. We've got the beautiful view, the beautiful Providence River, the ambiance and setting are second to none. Just right. I think the only thing missing from this gondola ride is a little bit of music. The music would be great. Marcello, Ivano, what do you think, guys? Well, I've stolen Marcello's hat again. I know I'm not good on the accordion. Perhaps I could be a guest gondolier. You never know. More from Providence in a bit. Back to you guys. There you go. Uh, Marcello, who could forget when I dazzled you with the accordion? <laughs> Good to see you again, buddy. Likewise, thank you. Uh, it, it's The gondolas are more comfortable than ever. We just saw what it's like to be out in one. But for those who might be a little nervous about coming out this summer be, with respect to everything that's been going on, what can they expect? What do they need to know? Because I know you're taking the precautions as well. Right. So we were allowed to open in phase two, which was great. We're very thankful. And we are obviously taking precautions like everybody else is. Right. So number one, uh, the lounge gets wiped down with disinfectant right in front of every trip. So everybody gets to see that everything is nice and clean in front of them. Gondoliers are obviously using sanitizer uh, frequently. Um, we are also trying not to touch people as much as possible. So, you know, normally we would help people in. We're kind of modeling that for them and uh, pouring wine and things like that. Sure. That's kind of things that people are doing on their own. You right know, now. for two decades, I've mastered contactless dating, uh, not by my own choice, but I, I'm all too familiar with that, which is actually a good thing, all joking aside. 
when can we come out and see you? Are there specific hours and days and times when people can come out? Uh, just like normal, we are open every day from uh, 10 a.m. is the earliest reservation we'll take and 9.15, 9.25 during the week, 10 o'clock on the weekends. Yeah, and, and for people who have never experienced this, you know, I, I remember that segment we did. We had such a blast a couple years ago and here just being in the gondola is just an experience in and of itself, even though I'm not out on the water right now, I'm just kind of posing, but it's, it's a wonderful experience, especially like we were saying for someone that's never done it before, correct? Yeah, and uh, like we were talking about before, you know the one thing we all run short on is time and so this is really it's time spent with people you love yeah. and there's there really isn't a price that you could put on that. and for you I mean how did you get going in, in in this business I mean you are a gondolier correct I am yeah do you is there a test how do you become I there? actually just had my 21st anniversary on 4th of July my first gondola trip I just said the right word thank you very much I just, <laughs> I just said the right word at the right time. I was looking for a summer job and I'd been on the crew team. Right, and for you, I mean, we talked to Aaron about this earlier from the Renaissance Hotel. I mean, not to just belabor the point, but it really is the, tr the truth. The amount of pride that people have in Providence and being, living, working, whatever it is we may do down here, it's a legitimate real thing, isn't it? I love it. It's the greatest city. Uh, I know it's my city, but nevertheless, you know, I've been down here for a very long time. I've gotten to see a lot of very positive change, and we take very seriously the idea that we are ambassadors for the city to well, locals and visitors. You're doing a fantastic job, and uh, thank you for joining us right here today, and thanks for always being so much fun. Thank you. Pleasure's mine. Great this to This is you again. the man, you guys, Marcello from La Gondola. Oh, I love the sound of that. Perhaps that'll be my new... Uh, Instagram name, who knows. Uh, for now, guys, we're having a blast in Providence. Get all this info at roadshow.com. Back to you. If he's gonna be Marcello, he need, yeah. we have to have Brandano or something like yeah. that. Oh, <laughs> yes. yes. Brandano Kirby, that's uh, perfect. And yep. that's one of the other things I've never done before. Oh, in the gondola. In the gondola. No, I've taken a boat around right. during water fire, but, right. never, but never, never, the, never the gondola. And it is so beautiful.